back again we are going to get into episode four of the world from among us uh, last episode was quite good with big crane we decided not. so we'll see how well we get on in this episode i think we're getting somewhere with snow as well which is which is nice i like that but hi uh, let's let's get in it right Oh, there's a lot of guy getting in an argument, but more weird. It's a like him, but yes, come back. I'm a bit dehydrated. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? I don't think they murdered them. I like this though. Beast. It was a good show, but... You know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Oh, I'd rather like Nova Scott well, with his axe. In with the new. Long live the queen. That's not, I don't like the idea of Bloody Mary being in this. Man. Um, it's just a stupid idea. It's not failing. What well, the is not failing. Let's see what they call it, won't it? Dear God. See you around. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Well, that's nasty. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? <coughs> what happened to me? There was. You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon, me. Well, I thought that's what had. Please, Bigby, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh no, we really don't have to do this, do we? I suppose. 
He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know. Interview with Baby Sick. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> He's my kind of dog, though. I like it. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be down so who's Dr. Sweetheart? Who's he supposed to be? Time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. The fuck? Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. I mean, that was, that was quite, quite rough. Miss White, you'll be fine the light duty, him him. if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been... An unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney. Did it tell like brother or something? <laughs> Straight for the booze. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Oh. You, uh... A shuffle. You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or died, I guess. It... Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Yes, sir. I've yes, sir. Yes, sir. never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either the feels invincible or, or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick mm. desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? 
Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. What else could snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. Mm. It can't just be about Crane, right? Mob Getting boss. him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. They killed her. The crooked man. They killed them. Declared war against the us. Then the crooked man. That's what I thought. Oh. Try and take over. I'll now put my own blurbeard blurb on top of them. For years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters, to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end... What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Wefkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office I am right not now? sending. Narissa. Narissa? Narissa? Oh. from the pudding and pie? Yes. Is it calling back? Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Ah, uh, mm. Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Narissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, nope. she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. 
I am making no promises because I do a lot of things with her. But I'm not going to do that to him. It's, it's, it's telling people who, not to be who they are. Hey, a little mermaid. Oh god, you're not going to flash me again, eh? I'm looking forward to this chapter. I reckon it'll be good. I hope we get to take on Bloody Mary again because I want to put that bitch down. Um, we don't like no killing the Queedles. It'll be a big thing. I reckon they might start to help. I'm starting to hit her quite a know why she's going with these as well. I think Bluebeard will turn out to be working for the Crooked Man. Mm. But I do, I, I, I do really like the concept of this game. It's a Hi, case of... Sheriff. It's genuinely like Once Upon a Time, when a bit darker. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? <laughs> Is that you Colin? Look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> oh, God. Puffin? Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. Sure it, of course. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work, huh? The day with the ribbons. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just go ahead it might work crane wasn't the murderer the open arms was a setup and you sent me there was there someone else you wanted me to find there these lips are sealed if I could answer you just like that I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you no it's the ribbons, because I'm just thinking, because Faith pointed out the ribbon Sometimes, at the beginning of it. But we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. Sebastian and Flounder. They're gone. And I Under the sea. Under the sea. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Holy. The so blonde lasso. I hope you're looking after yours. Oh. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. But your lips are sealed. It's the ribbon. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. 
Faith wore one too. OJ. Do you like it? Huh? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Mind if I just... No! It slipped your seal! What? You can't! Just stay back! Oh, uh, Kel... You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> Is that who they... Okay. Was there heat to it. take the ribbon off? So the ribbons... Take them off. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? Anybody? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Nice hey, sir. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They see if you look on the ribbon, you, you see lips. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. <laughs> that I'll put money on then. Remove the ribbon. And he does. to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Beauty and Beast. Oh. Right, that opened up there. Genuinely had me. To attend to. It, 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 it had me kind of worried there. I thought I was going to see a dead body. I'm worried about snow. Genuinely worried about snow. doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just... Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been 
been surprising me a lot lately. Ah, oh, shut up. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? G? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hey, you have to your dish bag, Phil. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I mean... I can tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Steve, I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Thieves! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? He's already I told us this. To do, we so should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? You have info on that crooked bastard. I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. If you're in so much debt, look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? I can't buy it. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to yes, like this. Yes, you can. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... What do you feel? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing a slope? Hey. <laughs> We're not done and we yet. can't come to I the should... phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warning. Time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. 
I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So you got a when you got a fucking Fabergé egg sitting there. That's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah. Oh god. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Kinda chopped my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the oh, place the on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Really? Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's. You're saying. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. <laughs> I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, no, I'd like up. to know where it's coming from. Right, so if I go to the Lucky Pond, I may get beauty and shit. Hey, Kenny, he said, I'm going to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Beast needs to get a grip. Beauty's a bit more in 
what I need, but. I, can, I cannot go people that can't just cut them you can't even call them basic necessities of life they, people are accustomed to a certain way of living but if you've got to cut back on that you've got to cut back on that you can't that's how you get yourself in stupid situations like that Honestly ridiculous. I know I sound a bit heated about that, but living in Glasgow it happens all the time. I always see it. Christ, I used to do it myself. I drove myself insane with it. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Very. Very appetizing. But no, I'm too good. Solid. Who'd want to eat this? Although it does have my personal favourite. The sirloin steak. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Plank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat? Oh, light me again. Light me again. <laughs> Oh, I see that parry button there. But He's got to press up. Just meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. Mm. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. Yeah, yes, you are. Just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me. I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Yeah. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Ah, oh, another little chicken box. I got it covered. Eat it when I did that. I'll be right out. They did, she knows. Don't know why, but it's like my hay fever plays up in the winter. Oh. Even though it's fall. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Uh -huh. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Cut up that meat. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I like your cut. You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? 
it, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just work the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? Mm -hmm. The crooked man's people. Dirty devil, dirty and dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Drugs. Pretty bad. Where's my water? Ah, oh, wait, that got teen. Blue beard. Like what? What? Wait. Oh God. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Yeah. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamorous. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's uh, brand. It's His on everything brand? that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Lundy's need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Games are dead in war. But wait a bit up. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti green leaf and Oh my god, why did they not why did the name go God? Here. They should have named him Kevin. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like 
he could process him into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got Ooh. in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Money, the dirt boat problems. Crane knew all about it. <laughs> yeah, what about Crane? This all, I mean, finding the crooked man oh, maybe is so it was important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, oh, man. stuff like that mirror. I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey! Hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. But thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Endless boy. Fucks and tables up. <laughs> that we've got a we've got some line. Oh. And he's dead, you stick. Jersey don't right. Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the uh, point of having a system if you're just gonna... My Jack, what the fuck is going on? But you I'm a uh, guy who just gonna... Work. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? Jack. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my... So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey. What's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna hang. Oh, oh, come on. You fucking mother. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. What 
Knows he's ours. Too bad you could protect those whores. Go on. Try to stop me. Fucking stay down. There she is. <laughs> the magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? It's the fault. Uh, ah, useless bitch, Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all this shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. <laughs> Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for yes. traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... Shard. Yes. It's the shard. Finally. I like the look of that revolver, though. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man. Wanted them dead. That's all it takes. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke. Lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Years, decades. And about what? No, about the girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, I like with it. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. Feel where these came a long way. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, Sheriff I... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog this is wants a this time, I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. This was some major... <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say... This thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. That's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Old Buffkin. My happy like a blind monkey. Far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? Oh. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pawn. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Oh. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. No Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Bluebeard well, drives me insane. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? 
So, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. You just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for months at least. You say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get you sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand, or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, the chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they're just trying to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. The Crooked Man had them killed, the frame crane. Get him out of the I picture. Say, and then I think Bluebeard's working for him. And Bluebeard's going to try to take I'm over sorry, the prison. I, just, uh, I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? Let me did. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh. What? Just... Happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. He knows I'm Martian so, Manhunter. Let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't 
recognize the door, but that's the crooked man's symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Maybe that also leave him alive. Everybody else is going to get him. Decisions, decisions. Run, baby. Tim. Is that Tiny Tim? How are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, you, Tim. this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. I think such good characters and then this time. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> what did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. I got a job. To right, do. so that's George Bodger, but what was that laugh? Sheriff Wolf, sir. Uh, Tweedles. Jersey Devil. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but right. you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir.
You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Stories about you in the old days, mm. how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed! The wolf is coming, and they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes. And wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> oh, no, 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 it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to this. But. <coughs> I didn't expect the Crooked Man to look like that. He kind of... Serious John Cleese vibes. But if he'd been hit by a car. You know what I mean? Um, but aye, it was a good wee... A good wee episode. Very short episode at that. Was that an hour and 15 minutes? Minutes, sorry. Oh, that was good though. I enjoyed that. Oh, oh, back spray. So let's see how we how we fair with the choices. Did you send Colin to the farm? Eighty five percent players to say should not send them to the farm. Oh, pardon me. Uh, did you attempt to remove the ribbon? Thirty six percent of players tried. Uh, Six three percent of players went to the butchers first. Seventy three percent of players decided Toad shouldn't go to the farm, and forty three percent of players lit the cigarette. Funny thing is, I'm I'm actually against smoke. Huh. Uh, but uh, no, I did. I enjoyed that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oof. Uh, but hopefully we'll have a good fight with Bloody Mary in the next one and I'm looking forward to it. Don't know when I'm going to do it right now, for probably in a few days but definitely is good. I'm enjoying this game. You know, I've not played but I've not really played any of the Telltale games. But uh, it's been good so far. I heard it's supposed to be that they were thinking about being a second opener, but I don't think they will. But, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I know I'm new. I'm trying to get the quality of my videos better. Uh, I know the first two were me so good, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah.